Yo, what's up, guys? I just coincidentally woke up. It's 1.51 in the morning. And um, just got up for some water. I'm really groggy right now. I'm really tired. I took a sleeping pill like two hours ago so I can like, really, really sleep ready. So I noticed this trend line that looks like it was just dropping hard to the downside. And it looked like it was going to possibly break right there. So then I saw it break. So when I saw it break, I, I shorted it with $57,000. So up a pretty good amount. It also looked like it was really bearishly diverging. Yeah, it looks like it's at the top already. If you look at it on different time frames, it looks like a, a bearish flank, right? Let me show you. If you look like on a, on a 15 minute time frame, doesn't it just look like a bearish flag to you? Right, where it just comes down, right, and then it does something like that, and then it just looks like a bearish flag where it's going to continue to the downside. So I think it's going to hit at least the 12 cent range. I don't think it's got room to go anymore. I think that this is actually like the final, final, final wave. And I think this could have even been a wave by itself it's either like a wave an impulse wave that just couldn't really form or it's a bearish flag that was forming either way it's really dropping to the downside now it's got a lot of momentum to just crash down so right now i'm up about one thousand six hundred dollars I think I'm going to take my profit way later. Like, I don't think there's a chance for this coin to recover. I think it's going to, it's going to correct like probably the whole thing. I, I might, I might have literally caught the top. I mean, the 30 minute MACD is crossing over. See, you take a look at the barely divergent RSI. It's like really, really bad right now for the RSI, right? Look at it. It's really bearishly divergent right now, so there's no way you can recover, I don't think. I mean, if you take a look at that peak, that peak, and if you even go back a little bit and compare it to this peak, it's all getting lower high, so it's got to be at the top. So let's look for a time frame that has been supporting it bullishly the entire time on the Chandler exit. 15 minute has... 15 minute has done it, yeah. What about 10 minute? 10 minute, nope. See, 10 minutes gets invalidated because of the one red zone. So it's not a 10 minute. All right, so you gotta move up to a 15 or it does not turn red one time. See, it stays green. The, that, yeah, the green works out. So it's very likely to hit that 12 zone just down in the air, I think. Like, I could tilt this even more, you know, make it look something like that, like, really tilted. If I went to, like, a lower time frame, I'd just be like, okay, yeah, well, I can adjust it to make it fit that curve there. So I'm talking about just, like, going to a lower time frame and just being like, oh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw my trend line to just make it fit whatever I think would be good, you know? But that's not really the way you should do it. I think the trend line, it really broke already. Like, if I go to a two minute and I draw it the best that I can, 100% it broke already. Like this one, something like that, right? So it broke already. So now it's just, I think it's retesting. And now that it's retesting, it's trying to eventually break below here, the 1253 range. And once it breaks below there, it's going to really start smashing to the downside. I don't think there's any hope for recovery for this coin. So let's take a look at MACD once again. 30 minute is definitely crossing down in about one minute. So it's got the first histogram tick down right now. Okay, we got barely diverging RSI. Right, all across the board. Yeah, it's definitely bearish. Okay, so the 15 minute 
is getting lower highs and the 15 minute looks like it formed some sort of flag that's crashing down on the RSI price action wise let's see the EMA so the 15 minute EMA was the one that held the best recently so this one here right now is clearly being tested do you see that so right now it may bounce a little bit but I think it will be broken once that 15 minute 20 EMA breaks it's over so yeah what about a 55 EMA let's see which one 55 EMA is probably on the shorter time frame like a 5 minute so here we go the 5 minute time frame 55 EMA it's also holding same as the 15 minute 20 EMA so those are the ones that are holding right now based off of just EMAs based off of volatility the volatility needs to reach around the $12 range where that green line is for us to be considered very bearish and for the trend to change until then we have to wait so this channel is usually indicative of a break to the downside so I will wait but I'm going to try my best to stay awake right now to try to win this trade here. So if you take a look at what happened, basically a gigantic move came to the upside. And then if you take a look on a lower time frame, you'll see that followed by that really big move. See it? That big move right there. There was a drop, okay? So that needs to be acknowledged the drop happens and then a pattern forms so because the drop happened and a pattern formed it means that that pattern that formed like this rally okay it drops down this is just a corrective wave of a continuation that's how it needs to be seen and no other way makes sense so you have to assume that after a gigantic parabolic wave that goes to the upside okay like first of all people try to catch it at the top it's just not possible because you risk getting liquidated because if you try to short it anywhere up there it doesn't need to come down it can actually go up or down right so you have to be aware of that risk the people that try to catch the top like that they're just lucky man like honestly it's just pure pure luck when they get it the best thing to happen is to let those stupid rallies happen. Okay, just let them happen. Then let the drop happen too. And then once the drop happens, let the retracement upwards happen too. Okay? Let the retracement upwards happen. And then the continuation will happen to the downside. That is why I'm up $3,000 right now. Does that make sense, guys? That really needs to be made sense. Okay, like I really need you to understand that. Because if you look on the daily, like, this coin did, like, 100%. And now, it doesn't it doesn't bother me that it mean 100% and I caught nothing. Like, it doesn't bother me at all. Because I know that there are so many different points to trade during this type of movement. And I'm the kind of trader that does not, like, like I'm, I don't trade that. I don't short that. I don't trade that. What I do is I I wait to try to count the fifth wave if that's possible okay then I, I let that shit happen the drop happen and then I I wait for the continuation because I'm a confirmation trader imagine if you only chose specific type of trades and never anything else so think about it for a moment where you say to yourself okay well I'm never gonna trade any type of pattern any type of trades unless they're these ones only because these ones that you trade you got such a high win rate with them right you got such a fucking high win rate it's like every time you trade them you win these trades and you don't lose them so imagine if you took those trades and these trades only and nothing else you would be so fucking profitable over time so i'm gonna take my profit right around now three thousand four hundred dollars here you go guys there's my profit three thousand four hundred and fifteen dollars and i'm asleep right now okay 
So I really hope that you watch this video in high detail and understand how I just made a shit ton of money on this trade. Yo guys, so I woke up earlier, like around 2 in the morning to trade, and I coincidentally fucking woke up again for water. And I saw that pattern forming, and of course, I would said to the group right here, look what I said to the group. It's really early, slept only a few hours, notice this pattern, if it breaks down, I'll short a quick scalp. So what did I do? I fucking shorted it. So I'm going to take a $1,600 profit right there, very fast. So this is me trading last night, right? it's pretty crazy. Last night I took like a $3,400 win. Look at my wins guys, I'm going to be honest. Okay? I took a, first of all I took a $1,200 loss, then I took a $3,400 win. I took a loss to make a big win. I took a $500 loss here. So I took a $500 loss there, and then I made $1,500 here. So net profit is huge. So the net profit on OGN is $3,200. So I made $4,900 total, but I lost $1,700. That's just how it goes, man. You gotta lose some to make some. Fucking easy day so far. Oh wow, it's just continuing to drop. I think I took my profit a little bit too early. Way too early. What's, when did I take it? Here? I took it at 11.76. Oh yeah, it's still going down by another percent. Anyways, so I'm up huge so far. So this month puts me up $18,325 of fucking pure profit. Damn, homie. Fucking crazy. So this puts me up a pretty big amount this month. Like, relative to how slow the month is. By the way, if you guys hear that that the sound in the background, it's my air conditioner. It's just really loud. So I'm up $18,300 this month. And I've only had, like, pretty much two losing days at the beginning of the month. Because um, I just was going in and out of trades. But as you can see here in the daily PL, like I don't trade every single day, right? And then if you look at the graph right there, it doesn't start to get big until like some days, right? <laughs> so on the fourth or whatever, the fifth, it got really, really big up there that day. What day is that? Oh, the sixth. The sixth, I made three thousand dollars, and then on the thirteenth, I made seven thousand four hundred. So it's always a steady curve, if you've noticed with my trading. My trading is always very motherfucking consistent, man. I'm like, I never, I never lose a huge amount of money because I'm just so consistent with the way that I'm choosing my strategies with exactly what setups I take. I'm not an amateur or newer trader that tries to focus on every single trade. And a lot of newer traders, they do that. They don't have a specialty. They don't have a specific strategy that they they stick to they, they go for kind of anything that they think will move and because of that they're kind of a jack of all trades so because of that they don't actually specialize in anything at all they they um, kind of just go for every single trade so this is me right now I'm literally in bed right now slept in the office because I traded late at night so yeah super tired because I woke up at 3 in the morning to trade and I couldn't fall back to sleep and then um then woke up again just now so sleep gets really disrupted when you um you know when you wake up so often to trade right you have a hard time going back to bed because there is adrenaline there's a lot of adrenaline when you trade so it's just how it is and then um yeah so if you stick to specific strategies rather than like going for every single type of trade setup you're gonna do a lot better so that's that's just generally how it is I always recommend to people to find a strategy that is slightly working for you and then you take that slightly working strategy and then you fine tune it to make it better. Because everyone's going to trade differently. They're not going to trade the exact same way as like me, right? Even if you try to copy my exact same fucking strategy, you're not going to be as successful as me because I've developed it for myself. So it's really important for people to study other people like study successful traders watch successful traders trade 
especially like mine because I don't know any fucking YouTubers out there or any Twitter people or any day traders that makes videos as detailed as mine where we ex where I explain the thought process behind and, and the logic behind each trade like I'm fucking really narrating it excuse me very much so really narrating it whereas a lot of other people don't but the thing is people like <laughs> they don't watch my shit they don't watch anybody's shit let's be real they don't watch live trading videos they're boring and those people they're like and most people not just those people but most people they like they look for a shortcut they like they want that easy like oh yeah what's an easy fucking strategy what should i ch like what strategies should i stick to right so i can make the most money they want that fucking like golden egg they're not gonna like put in the time to actually develop something themselves people just want shortcuts man people want immediate gratification they they want things to be handed to them on a silver platter they don't want they don't want to you know go the long road they don't want to put in the fucking hard work they don't want to go through that that focus and discipline that people need to go through in life to succeed so people are like oh philicon this is just a screenshot and you're like photoshopping it i'm like fuck fuck you this is my binance account right there man jesus christ right this is my binance account right here jesus can't believe people actually say that shit to me like fucking annoying Anyways, if you actually look at it, well, this is what I'm up in Canadian dollars, because I'm Canadian, right? So I always think in my head, I'm well, Canadian dollars, not American. Okay, so if you take a look at the month, there's only been how many weekdays? There's been the 3 to 7, that's 5, 10 to 14, 17 to 21, and today. So there's been actually 16 workdays, okay? 16 workdays, not counting the weekend. I take my $24,500 Canadian profit and then I divide that by 16 times I'm working 4 hours a day. I'm actually making an average of $382 fucking dollars an hour. An hour. Like, that's a lot of money. I'm making more than a lawyer. I'm making more than a fucking surgeon. I'm making more than literally a fucking doctor. All doctors in Canada, pretty much. Uh, doctors don't get paid like you know they, most of the doctors don't get paid a quarter million dollars a year so even in a slow month even in a fucking slow month i would still so put this into perspective that if i continue this pace which is a slow fucking month and this is the best that it'll get this year i would still be making thirty thousand dollars a year or sorry three hundred thousand dollars a year put that into perspective in a slow month and then you combine like a bull season, a bull market where the market's going crazy and you make like three, four, five hundred thousand dollars a month, especially the next one. So you can just kind of put two and two together and understand how crazy the money can be when you start to become a very good trader. So that's just putting it into perspective for you, okay? So then, you know, more, making more than a lawyer, making more than every fucking engineer you can imagine, every architect, every, like, white-collar job, more than professors, more than doctors that specialize in. So it's, but you don't just get here coincidentally, not at all. So you have to put in that time. I 100% put in more time than, than probably a doctor getting their their PhD like more than professors getting their PhD keep in mind that I have been doing this for over eight years now and um, I have been putting in a shit ton of time like more than the average person trust me with a PhD because at the beginning of my career I was putting in 18 hours a day for 1.5 years which is equivalent to a degree by itself so if you think that this is going to come easy, you need to fucking get your head checked and understand that that to make these kind of profits and to have this kind of confidence in the market, to have these kind of win streaks, it's not luck, man. It's fucking far from luck. It's a lot of hard work, and I'm telling you, you've got to put in that yourself. Nice. I'm up another $500. I'm going to take my profit here. Nice. So whatever this is, I'll take it. It's probably not that much. So how much does this one make? This one made, that's it? Oh, $387. But I made that trade very fast. Do you guys see the open? The open was at 9.20 and I closed it at 9.26. So it was like a six minute trade for 
four hundred dollars, and I shorted it because of well, I'm I'm in the middle of a game right now. I'm playing Dota, and I'm having a beer in the morning because I just feel like fucking having one after breakfast and making three thousand dollars today. So then I shorted it because I saw this little support being broken. Let's see, hammered it once over here, then I hammered it twice. It rejected. It stayed to the upside. And finally, it just broke to the downside. And it looked like it was making a bearish pattern. I'm always hunting for patterns. See that? So because of that pattern, I decided to short it. And that's exactly how I made 300, basically 400 American dollars in a, in six minutes. Like that's, that's a lot of money, man. It's probably going to continue to the downside, but I'm in the middle of a game right now. So I'm going to just leave it there. I'm up quite a bit today. So in the past five hours, I'm up 3,600 American dollars. That's, that's a lot of money in five hours of work. 